Now that you've seen the key features AngularJS provides out of the box for building single page applications, let's take a quick step-by-step -step look at how to get started using AngularJS to build a basic application. So as with any script, you need to include AngularJS in your web page. That's step one. No surprise there, I don't think. Step two, though, is a little bit different. You're going to see that with AngularJS, I don't even have to write a single line of JavaScript code, yet I can do things like data binding. So you can do some really cool things out of the box. But to do that, I have to add a special little thing here called a directive. Now, a directive is kind of like a component. It's something Angular knows about. You can even write custom directives. And the one we need to include in our shell web page is called ng-app. Now, what this does in a nutshell is tells AngularJS this is an Angular application. It should be scanned for other Angular functionality. So for instance, going to step three here, it might scan it for data binding syntax. Well, let's walk through these and you'll see how it all fits together. So step one is pretty easy. We either grab the script and copy it locally and reference it, or we can go up to the Google hosted CDN and you can supply the version of Angular you'd like to grab, such as maybe 1.2.2 or whatever it may be. Well, once we do that, Angular's ready. But the next step is we need to tell Angular this is an Angular application. Including the script is not enough. So the way we do that is we add this little ng app. Now, you could add it up on the root HTML tag. You could actually add it down on the body tag if you wanted. But I normally put it up top here, make it available throughout the whole entire shell page. Now, what that will do, as mentioned earlier, is mark it as an Angular application. Now, by doing that, you can do things like data binding. So here's an example of an input. We're going to allow the user to type in their name. And as they type, we're going to capture what they typed in a special little behind the scenes property in a model object. And a model object is just an object that holds data. And we're going to call that property name. This ng model is a directive. Now, if all they did was type into it, it wouldn't be very impressive, though. We want to see that it's working. So what we can do is capture the value of that name and write it out using the data binding expression. Now, if you've ever used client-side template frameworks like mustache or handlebars, this will look really familiar here. You put these double squiggly brackets and then the name of the property that you want to bind to. So in this case, we defined a property here on ng model called name, and whatever they type is then going to be written out right here over to the right of the input. So let's go ahead and jump into a demonstration and I'll show you how all these steps fit together.